So the George Institute um, is a leading clinical research centre. We are doing a broad range of research looking at some of the most important conditions that are in affecting more and more people around the world, particularly chronic diseases and injury conditions like heart attack, stroke, diabetes, kidney disease, back pain, um, lung disease um, and a whole range of others and are trying to find better ways to both prevent these conditions from occurring in the first place um, but also to uh, new treatments for those conditions and we're doing some really important trials of um, agents which are likely to become available for um, some of these conditions and change the lives of affected people over the next few years um, but also finding better ways to deliver health care to every Australian so that every Australian can get the health care that they need when they need it. Medical research is not just about curing established diseases, it's about preventing diseases from occurring in the first place. And some of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, the things that we eat, the amount of exercise that we do or don't do, the amount of time we spend standing or sitting, are really important in um, setting the scene for the sorts of health that we're going to enjoy going forward. By making small changes to our lifestyle, by eating lower salt foods for example, we can have a massive impact on the risk of heart attack, stroke, kidney disease and a broad range of other conditions for decades to come. And these are simple things that um, can be done you know, with government support um, but, without, but that need high quality research to really help us understand the best way to do them and the impact that we might um, achieve. So my research focuses on kidney disease um, and kidney disease is the silent epidemic um, in Australia. There are more than two million people with kidney disease around Australia and only half of them know that they've got it. There are a range of different causes. Diabetes is the most common cause. Um, so we're doing a lot of research and I'm personally leading a, a broad range of research trying to find better ways of um, treating people with kidney disease so that they don't end up with kidney failure that needs dialysis treatment or a transplant um, or that can cause their death in some situations. In addition, for people who've already got established kidney disease or who are requiring dialysis, there's a clear need for better treatments to help them remain healthy, to um, fulfil their um, life as they wish to and to um, enjoy a, a full life without having it cut short as a result of their illness. So we're doing a number of studies trying to find better ways of treating these people too. My background is as a, a doctor, a kidney doctor, and um, I love dealing with patients and I love trying to help patients, but I'm frustrated every day at the many people for whom we don't have the tools that we need to really help them, to keep them healthy, to allow them to enjoy a fulfilling and active life. Um, and to prevent them from developing many of the conditions that we're seeing increasingly commonly. Um, my clinical work made me interested in finding better ways of helping these people and the only way to do that is through research. So I um, got involved in research and very rapidly saw that this was a way to really help people um, and I've spent the last 20 years of my life in that area now. Yeah, Australia does very well in some areas. For example, in clinical trials, Australia is a world leader at identifying what treatments work and which ones don't work. We're very strong at um, basic research that helps us understand the fundamental mechanisms of disease and um, finding ways to treat them. But we've got a lot, I think, to learn about better ways of delivering health care, better ways of getting the right treatment to the right person when they need it. Um, and there are many Australians who are missing out on proven treatments um, that we know will benefit them because the system hasn't been studied well enough to understand how to really deliver those things in the most effective way. So that's an area that I think we really need to focus on as a country. The amount of money that we spend on medical research sounds like a lot, and it is a lot in, in absolute terms, and it's wonderful, and it uh, achieves a huge amount for the country and for people with all sorts of diseases. But um, it's also clear that every dollar that's invested in medical research returns two or three dollars back in terms of financial benefits plus all the health benefits that come with it. Um, there's a huge need in a, in a range of areas where um, the government money just can't get to. It's spread too thin. Um, there are a range of conditions that people feel very strongly about that um, 
get some money from the government, but don't get enough to really move forward. And I'd strongly encourage people to continue to support those, the things that are close to their heart, to ensure that the conditions they're most concerned about get the breakthroughs that they need. Yeah, um, unfortunately, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in this country um, still have a uh, life expectancy and also a illness burden that is far worse than other Australians. And that's not acceptable in 2015. And it's something that we need to change. There are a huge number of researchers, um, people in all parts of society who are very focused on trying to close that gap to improve outcomes. And the George Institute is one of many groups that's contributing in that area. We have a particular interest in trying to prevent injury in Aboriginal communities, which is a major cause of death and disability. We have a particular interest in trying to address the tidal wave of diabetes, cardiovascular disease and kidney disease in Aboriginal communities, but also in working with those communities to help strengthen them and help grow their ability to identify the key issues that are relevant to them and to address those through high quality research and then implementation.